Hi, I'm Debbie Peverell, and you're listening to the Weekly Tip from Painless Financial Training Group. Today I'm talking about how unwise it is to ignore Canada Revenue Agency, whom we often call CRA, and other things. CRA has unpleasant ways to get your attention if you are ignoring them. For example, they call you or send you a letter asking you for the receipts for a certain deduction you claimed on your tax return. You don't get back to them, you don't send the receipts. So they just simply disallow that expense and send you a bill for the extra tax plus the interest on that extra tax and maybe a penalty if you were late filed, for example. So now you've got a lot of hassle to go and get that reassessed, send in the information, which you could have avoided by doing it in the first place. The other situation is if CRA is looking for money and you ignore them, and this is usually more serious. If you call CRA and tell them um, you know, that you will make some kind of payment plan and you stick to it, then you don't have this big hassle. If, however, you just ignore them, hoping that they'll go away or they'll never be able to find you because you don't answer your email and you don't answer your phone, then what's going to happen is they'll either garnish your wages at your employers or they'll just seize your bank account. And either one of those things will in fact be a huge hassle and take a long time to get straightened out and could have been avoided simply by talking to CRA and making some kind of plan. So the tip for today is don't ignore people who have the ability to seize your bank account.